What's up, kings? This is Nappy Food all up on your screen, and today is a Nappy Foolery video, and we are fully around with self grooming eyebrows at the house. DIY, save your points. Yes, I'm still trying to get the hang of doing it on my own at home, consistently well done each time. I am not there yet, but I won't stop trying. So I'm gonna show you some of the things I've learned along the way, watching others do it at home. Maybe I might have it down with a method that I like, and now it's just about being consistent. Y'all ready? Now before checking in, let go. y'all so as y'all know i recorded my restroom most of the time i don't know why i'm just more comfortable <laughs> recording in this restroom even though i know it does nothing for the sound i'm so sorry but um i guess i just love my restroom or i love a restroom don't know why anywho brows y'all so y'all know your girl has been trying to get these brows right for the longest for the longest time yes 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 you all you really this is how i know we friends because y'all are this close to me back up no I'm joking okay one of the problems i have with my brows is that i can never clearly see what shape i should give it like where is the arch naturally at how do i get that clean under the brow and on top of the brow look like they do when i go and get my brows professionally done my brows grow so wild in my opinion that it's just really hard to see its natural shape but i try so i don't know about y'all if y'all have that kind of issue but that's one of my problems when it does come to the, the the struggle or the the difficulty of knowing how to groom your own brows a lot of people that i see on youtube that do their own brows they kind of have this shape already a lot of them already have their um just like our hair <laughs> they're like you consider i will consider mine to be maybe medium low density uh because it's not it's very spread out you know a lot of people that i see that do their self-grooming at home it's high density, it's quite, quite thick, or their hairs grow straight up, you know? And as you can see with mine, it doesn't do that. It grows this way, that way, this way, that way, that way. No, I'm the king, no, I'm the king, no, I'm the queen, no, I'm the queen, no, I'm the leader, no, I'm the leader. Everybody's trying to be sane, you feel me? But I know I can brush my hair in place and make it work and try to make it work, and I've been trying to make it work, but what I'm trying to do is get it, get it right, you know, right for my shape. So that's kind of the struggles I have when it comes to grooming. One of the quickest ways to groom my eyebrow is to use this right here. This is one of the riskiest ways for that I feel. I feel it's the most riskiest one because if I accidentally get this cream on an area that I did not want it to be, that's it. That hair is gone. No more. What hair? What was there hair there? I don't know, girl. That cream took it, so I can't remember no more. It took it so quick. That type of vibe. You feel me? This is the quickest one. Yes, definitely the quickest one. But if you have a shaky hand, your hand's not steady, you have bad angle. It's, it can be a little risky, but this is the quickest way to get stuff off. Another method is using these right here. Razors. There's so many ways you've seen these razors. There's razor blades. There's this razor that's long like this. There's another one that's a little bit shorter at the neck, at the razor part. And there's so many ways that I've seen this done. I've seen the ones that fold, the ones that don't fold. So between the cream and the razors, to me, these two methods hurt the least. Now, there are other methods that hurt quite a bit. Number one being waxing i used to always wax my brows because it's a cheaper option but there was one time that it got confused and instead of only taking hair it also took skin and that is when i knew it's just no the way for not people i left it alone and i haven't looked back since then mm, i know it's faster but no nah, that thing hurt and the skin didn't grow back for like months i can't go through it one something else i can't go through is you watching this video and not being subscribed like watch is good hun Please hit the subscription button, the bell right next to it so you are notified the next time I'm all up on your screen. Thank you. Tweezers. This is another method that that, that works. Yes, it works. But you feel it. It, it can be quite painful because you are plucking hair by hair by hair. Now, there are many different types of tweezers. This type of tweezer is actually my favorite one because the way that it is, it grips my hair very well. And the ends of it, I don't know if I'll call it galvanized, but there's something on the ends that really sticks to the hair. There's also this one that has a shiny tip to it, more sleek. And then there's these ones. It's more straightforward, very pointy tip, so it can be a little dangerous, okay? Then last, then the really, really the last, 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 last one is thread. I don't know anything about self-threading. I tried, you know I tried though, of course I did. You take the thread, 
and then you're supposed to go something with your fingers. Some I tried it maybe four times, and I was just like, it's just not the way for not people. I left it alone. Would I love to learn how to do it perfectly? Of course, but this that method just seems really, really hard. And quite frankly, I feel like I won't have as much control as a beginner, you feel me? But all right, I won't completely give up on the threading, but we just ain't gonna do that today. Out of all of these methods, the one that I feel like I had, okay, I think I have a bit more control over this, is the razor combined with the clip, the, uh, the, the uh, tweezers. Okay, so I have a mirror here, okay, this is what we're gonna use. On this side that's facing me, it is a uh, it's magnified. Speaking of magnified, I'm gonna put y'all on the spot. So y'all have seen all these methods, some that hurt, some that don't hurt. Now, which one of these eyebrow grooming methods have you tried that you were like, mm-mm, never again? For me, it was waxing. Which one is yours? Comment below. So the best method for me, y'all, is a combination. So I'm about to show you now. Before I get started, I make sure I do clean up my brows. I'm so sorry I didn't show this on video, but I use Witch Hazel to clean it off first, and then I get into it. So next thing I do is talk to my brows. I tell her, listen, we got to get this right. So act right, do right, and it's going to come out right, okay? And we make an agreement, and we good to go. <laughs> so now I'm going to brush them kind of, I'm just brushing them out into whatever shape um, the hair naturally want to flow into, because I'm focusing mainly on this bottom part. Right in this area, that's all I'm gonna pluck. And then of course the same on the other side. I don't plan to pluck on top in the middle before I just plan to focus where the arch hits and just define that area a lot more. This is my favorite tweezers to use. The material on the end has this roughness to it, but yes, it's, all, yet it's also smooth. It grips my hair very well without too many attempts. All right, so what I do now is hold, put my hand and well, as you can see, I'm holding that area very taut. So not too loose not too tight. The same way to have you hold your eyebrows when you're getting your brows threaded. That's what I'm doing here. It really helps to get the hair and it also lessens the, mm, should I say tension? You know, the feeling of each hair being plucked out. It kind of does help with that. All I'm doing right now, like I said, I'm focusing in that arch area. That is it. I take my razors now to try to get those really, 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 really small, small hair that the tweezer doesn't, doesn't get. You will notice that I go back and forth between the razor and between the tweezers until I feel like, okay, that area is pretty clear. Because what I've come to learn in my whole journey of wanting to learn how to do my brows myself at home, and then of course going to get it professionally done still, and just kind of asking questions, is that the goal is to get rid of those, those hairs that you normally see, you can easily see, and then also the small little hairs that you don't really see. But when you move those small little hairs out the way, it makes a total difference. I haven't grasped back. I haven't been able to grasp that um, fully successfully yet. Not like it is when I go get them professionally done, but I'm working on it. I will say when I use the eye cream, the eyebrow cream, it definitely gives me that true, slim, slim, sleek, smooth, straight shot, um, structured. You know, y'all know I'm talking about that look that professional eyebrow people get you. Okay, when I use the cream, it gets it for me but um we're working on it so now i have i'm going to stop at this point go ahead and trim the little long hairs that i have and i'm only going to i'm going to brush it down i'm going to also trim and br i'm going to brush it up and also trim at the top this part you have to be really careful with i especially the one at the top i've trimmed way too much to where now my brows where it naturally stops at it was a bit lower it was really hard to watch it was really hard to go through and excruciating to wait for it to grow back so i'm going to stop right here I still see some more that I want to do. I mean, I'm stepping back. I'm looking at it. I'm like, I do have some more I want to do. But you know what? Let me go ahead and switch to the other eyebrow so I that I don't go too far and mess that up. And then now I'm going to try to match my other side to it. I don't want to mess. I don't want to match my other side to a messed up brow, right? <laughs> so I'm going to stop right there and then start in the other brow. One thing I've definitely learned also on this journey of wanting to perfect self eyebrow, eyebrow grooming at home. My eyebrows will never look identical. They are fraternal twins. They are never, 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 never going to be labeled as identical twins. And when I learned this little tip, it definitely made me stop stressing on wanting to get them to look exactly the same. That's just not what they're meant to be. You know what I mean? So I definitely uh, let that whole dream go. And I'm okay with that. Trust me. In fact, the fact that I even let that go is what makes me even want to keep on trying 
to try to do this stuff myself. If I kept on being hung up on that, I probably wouldn't be trying to do this stuff myself and just learn how to, you know, perfect it and so on. So, yep, same thing again. Um, one thing else I want to say is that our brow, the skin in that area, is very thin, y'all. It's it's thin. It's very um, sensitive. So take your time. Be very gentle. Um, and I definitely recommend, me personally, I recommend razors only because I like the razor com combo with the tweezers because it gives me more control. I can choose the exact hair I want to pluck. Okay. So, and then with the razor, I, again, more control as opposed to um, waxing or threading, which either one I don't know how to do. So the brow I'm currently brushing down. That's my favorite one. Yep. You know how you have that favorite, favorite child? But you can't tell them that because they'll just take it to the head and, and go rat and tell to all the other children. This is my favorite one because it always like it doesn't take me as long as the other side does. Because I think this one has a natural arch to it that I can see a bit easier than its sister. But nonetheless, love them both. Mm hmm. <laughs> So all I'm doing right now is just kind of going in and cleaning underneath. I'm trying to get that, that sharpness that you see at the bottom. I'm trying a way to just, you know, get at that definition, but ugh, whatever. I'll keep on trying. I keep on trying. So now I'm just, you know, cleaning up the bridge part, making sure that's not looking like a scary monster. And again, just brushing down or razoring down and getting any small hairs so that it looks even cleaner in that area. And there you have it, y'all. So now what I'm going to do is take aloe vera gel. This aloe vera gel has some other ingredients in it as well, just has some just some natural oils. And I'm going to use that to cool down that area. You know, I just went through it. Basically, it went through a traumatic experience, you know, razor, plucking, trimming, all of that. Aloe vera definitely helps me to cool that area. And it also helps to soothe it, which is very, very much needed. And this is my before and after. Very subtle. I know it's very, very subtle, but as you can see, that bottom part is cleaned up. And that was all I was going for because I want my front and my tip to grow more. So I don't want to pluck or mess with those areas as much. In fact, not at all. So I mainly focus on the bottom part and this works for me. All right. And this is the brows when I do fill it in. I know it looks thick, y'all, but I actually really like the thick brows on my face. And I don't know when it changed to this for me. I used to like them thin, you know, like the regular, like everybody gets, but now mm -mm, thick is what I want. I feel like it shapes my face perfectly. I feel like it has life. Like this is me. I am it. It is me. That's it. <laughs> One week later and I have a little bit of growth coming in. Just a little smidgy, a little fuzz, a little fuzzy fuzz. Okay. Anyway, this is what I do on a nightly basis. Okay. Seven days in a week. Maybe I do at least four nights, four nights in the week. Okay. Give or take. This is castor oil, jasmine and rose hip oil. Okay. And all I do is take this roller pin, as you can see, roll into my brow and then I brush it in with the spoolie stimulation. Remember, this is hair and that skin. So the spoolie is stimulating that area, get the blood flow, doing what? Flowing. So I either do this or I will take the oil, put it on my finger, and then massage it in. Or sometimes, sometimes I do both. It depends on my mood. Another thing that I will do in addition to this is petroleum jelly. I will put a little bit, just a little bit, underneath my eyes, and then the remaining will go on my brows, and I will start to massage. Again, stimulation. This is a stress reliever sinus drainer, all that great stuff. So this is what I do on a regular basis for the most part, at least four nights in a week. All right, y'all. And that's pretty much all that I would do to my face. Please excuse how oily I'm looking. I just put some rosehip oil on my face. It's nighttime. So I normally put like some type of oil on my face at night. Anywho, so hope y'all found this video kind of helpful. I know, you know, it's eyebrows, it's hair. This channel is about hair. It's not about this hair today. It's about this hair. But it's still hair related. Okay. So yes. So when it comes to my brows, I just I try to make sure I take care of it as much as I take care of this one. Of course, my brows is not gonna have a wash day, but technically, when I'm washing my face, I'm washing my brows also. So I have to remember to come back and always give it some extra attention, moisturizing it, and making sure I'm putting some stimulating something, something on there. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So about y'all but I know I used to never really pay attention to my brows like I used to not be concerned with it like that it's like okay 
brows. I used to almost feel like it was just skin, but technically it is hair and there's skin there, follicles, all of it. Your whole body is hair. You know, there's follicles all over your body, right? But um, yeah, so now, you know, I guess once I got into my thirties, I just started feeling like I gotta start paying attention to every part of my whole existence, okay? Every part, cause it's all there for a reason. It's all still there for a reason. So make sure I take care of it. You know what I'm saying? All right, y'all. So it is definitely time for me to go to sleep. Okay. So there you have it. That's kind of typically what I would do with my brows. Um, these brows, they have been through many hard trials, but I think we're getting it there because before my brows just grow real thin. So I am seeing how it's getting thicker. It's still sparse, but not as sparse as before. So I give God the glory. Holy! Okay. Those girls laughing at the way you are. Don't let some girls stop you from reaching stars. You are a true beauty. I've seen it in your eyes. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please go ahead and help your girl out by hitting that subscribe button and make sure you hit the bell right next to it so you can be notified the next time that I am all up on your screen. Also, if you're bored during the week, Come on and hang out with me on Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, all of that, all, all, all of that. And I will catch you on the next one. By the grace of God, you will see this chocolate girl all up on your screen again, okay? Until then, Team Kinks, listen up, boo. Are you listening? Uh -huh, okay. In order to have healthy hair, mind, body, soul, everything, you got to do healthy things consistently, okay? Now, before checking out, do this. One thing I do want to say with um, plucking, and razor is that you do feel it. Like you'll feel some stings because you are razoring. Sometimes like I was doing on this brow, I might've razored a bit too much in that area. So when I did my witch hazel and I put on my aloe vera, I felt the stinging. You might even see some cuts because again, this skin in this area is thin, you feel me? So whenever you're doing um, threading, razor or plucking, you might see a little cuts, you might see some little blood because that area in that, and because the skin in that area is very thin. Which you probably think like, well, then I'm just use the cream. The cream is fine too. If you want to use the cream, use the cream. But sometimes the cream doesn't get everything. So now I have to go back in with a razor or a uh, blade. You feel me? Wait, it's the same thing. Tweezers or a blade razor. You feel me? If I can go in with the cream at least once a week or at once every two weeks, just to keep this shape going so I don't have to keep on razoring, perfect. But you know, time goes by and before you know it's been five months, so. <laughs> if I told you you were, if I told you you were, if I told you you were beautiful, beautiful. If I told you you were beautiful, beautiful.